Hi guys, it's me, BM Gaming TV. Today, uh, magre-review na naman tayo ng isang NFT game and uh, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, no, dito sa channel na to, nagre-review tayo ng mga play to earn uh, NFT games and also mga investments na pwede kayong kumita in the future as well. So, kung hindi pa kayo subscribe sa channel na to, mag-subscribe na kayo and i-hit nyo na rin yung notification bell para lagi rin kayong updated sa mga panibago nating upload. Let's go! So, welcome back mga tol. No? So, bago tayo mag-start ng review, gusto ko lang ipaalala na I'm not a financial advisor or anything such. So, please do your own diligence about your investment and also make sure na nag-research muna kayo no, bago kayo pumasok sa isang NFT game. Kasi, mahirap naman kung nafo-food kayo or uh, nafo-fomo kayo sa isang uh, NFT. No? Hindi nyo alam kung mag invest ba kayo or hindi ba kayo mag invest dahil Ayun, decision nyo is naka-base sa opinion na ibang tao. So, it's better for you to do your own research and uh, be diligent enough. Kasi pera yung ilalabas nyo and kung mag invest kayo, mahirap kitain yung pera na yan. So, lagi nyo tatandaan na it's better for you to have your own judgment than uh, others making it for you. Yun lang mga tol, no? So, mag-start na tayo sa review. Back to the video. So, today guys, ang pag-uusapan natin is all about Sagent.io. Now, ano nga ba si Sagent.io? Paano ka nga pakikita sa kanya? And also, ilang days nga ba yung magiging return of investment mo dito sa game na to? So, lahat yan is ito-cover natin today. No? So, this was recommended to me by one of our subscribers. And nakita niya tong project na to sa CryptoZone announcements. No? So, yan. So, chinek ko na rin. Na-curious na rin ako kasi this might be connected with them. And confirm nga guys, no? That this project is one of the projects na ginawa ng developers from CryptoZone. Okay? So, uh, sa mga hindi nakakalam, CryptoZone is one of the click-to-earn games before na sumikat after ni CryptoBlades. Okay? And siya yung sumula sa mga investors before. Marami din naman kumita, including me, kasi ako may CryptoZone din ako before na mga, may mga Zoan sa okay? So, so, binenta ko din siya nung nakita ko medyo bumabagsak na rin yung game. So, ganun lang ginawa ko. But anyway, Pag-usapan muna natin si Sajet kasi ibang game din to, no? Kay CryptoZone. Now, when you scroll down, no, meron siya mga NFT arts dito. Okay? And then, yan yung mga possible na makuha nyo in the game. Now, meron siyang different colors. So, this might define, no, yung uh, elements ng NFT. So, let's say, kung ito, fire, ito, water, ito, wind, and then ito yung uh, isa pang uh, element na meron dito, no, sa kanilang uh, NFTs, no? Now, in terms of the play-to-earn mechanics, no? May kita kagad natin dito na this is a click-to-earn, guys. Ulitin ko lang, click-to-earn tong game na to. Okay? So, sa mga papasok, syempre, doble ingat pa din po kayo. Kasi hindi naman natin alam kung gano'ng katagal mag stay yung ganitong klase ng project. Okay? Now, uh, kung bakit ko siya nasabing connected kay uh, CryptoZone, kasi dito pa lang, binabrought up na nila na following intelligence from Zoan, which is uh, the NFT uh, names na meron kay CryptoZone, Sajans rush to CryptoZone right away to confront the Yaki monsters and save the peace. Okay? So, yan. So, meron silang apat na klase ng elements. So, water, fire, earth, and air. Okay? So, yun. Kung may, may kita nyo dito kanina, di ba may mga kulay. So, that will define, no, yung element ng inyong NFTs. Now, these NFTs are named after the 12 zodiac signs. So, meron uh, 12 classes dito. And dalawa yung gender dito. May male and may female. Okay? Now, characters in Sajent will become very fantastic due to the variety of tribes and classes. So, just like with CryptoZone, meron din silang tribes and classes. No? Now, features. So, ito yung mga ways for you to be able to earn. No? So, fight yaki. So, this is considered to be the main function. Ito yung magiging uh, follow gaming system. No? Wherein may mga percentage din yan. And you will earn the CEG token. So, CEG is the main token. So, wala silang other utility, no? Kung baga, ito lang talaga yung token na pwede nyo ma-earn in the game. And uh, based sa information na nakuha ko, no? They will be launching the CEG token probably later on around 10 p.m. po sa Pilipinas, no? UTC kasi siya ng 2 p.m. So, later on, malilis yung token na to. And uh, puma pumasok na lang kayo sa kanilang community, no? Sa Telegram, also sa Discord. 
para aware kayo no kung kailan ilalabas yung CA. Kasi mamaya makakuha kayo ng fake CA. So it's better to get it from the announcement of uh, this project, okay? Doon sa Discord. Kasi ako tinitingnan ko siya sa Telegram. So sa Telegram ako mamaya, no? Kinaabangan ko lang yung uh, contract address niya para later nakaready na ako kung sakasakali mag papasok ako dito for a token play. So magta-token play tayo dito guys because I know uh, this might be a good project to do that, no? Kumbaga, malalaman natin yan dahil maraming supporters si Cryptozone guys. Eh. So maraming papasok dito. But then again guys, doble ingat pa din po kayo. No? So gravity chamber. So user needs to spend enhancement stones to train and level up SAR or SAGEN. In the gravity chamber, all SAGEN start level 1 and may level throughout training. Okay, so dito pwede nyo rin upgrade yung inyong mga SAGEN. Then players may not take part in the lucky rotations for a chance to win fantastic prizes. So kung mapapansin nyo dito, may mga prizes sila na ilalagay. I'm not sure kung ano-ano yan, so check na lang natin sa white paper later on. And then uh, players will be able to open up 7 gift box uh, every day. The first of which will be free. And then the seventh of which will include several valuable gifts. I'm not sure kung ano din yung laman niya. No? Ito yung kanilang uh, tokenomics. So, 3% for the pre-sale, IDO is 12%, liquidity 12%, team 8%, marketing 5%, okay? Uh, advisors 3%, ecosystem 6%, airdrop is going to be 1%, and then P2E 50%, okay? So, ang laki ng uh, ano sa P2E, no? Then, uh, yung token ng team is nakalock one year, vesting 10% each month. Then, yung liquidity naman nila, and also yung IDO, 100% EGE nakalagay, no? Pero ito yung pre-sale, okay, 50% PGE makukuha during the initial launch to, then vesting uh, 10% weekly, okay? So medyo mabilis sila isusupply ang mga token. And uh, the supply is around 50 million, okay? Yan yung total supply. Now ito yung kanilang roadmap, so graphic design. So sinimula na pala nila to ng quarter one. So yan, Sajin and CryptoZone join the Soonverse, ayan. So, so sabi ko nga, Isa to sa mga projects na dinevelop ng uh, CryptoZone devs, no? IDO event, tapos na. So, later on, yung uh, listing ng pancake swap. So, sa mga magka-token play, guys, no? Abangan nyo, 10 p.m. po. No? So, ayan. And then, uh, audit smart contract. So, this is to follow, guys. No, this is to follow kasi I'm sure wala pa, hindi pa to tapos. No? And then, uh, activate marketplace and fight yaki function. So probably this will be released on February 15th, same time, 10 p.m. No, nakita ko rin sa announcement guys. Actually, nilist ko yan lahat. No, para at least aware tayo sa mga information na kailangan niya malaman. So again, yung uh, listing ng tokens will be later on, 10 p.m. And then yung launch ng P2E is February 15th, 10 p.m. din po. Okay? Now ito, hindi pa naman to nakakandak yet. So yung Q2 wala pa. Pero dito, almost matatapos na rin sila. Uh, I'm sure itong fight jacket function will be released on February 15. Pero itong uh, marketplace, I think, hindi pa. Okay, activate gravity chamber and uh, itong point I call listing and coin market cap. I think it's on its way. No? Now, um, yung Q2 and Q3, hindi muna natin babasahin yan kasi hindi pa naman siya, ano eh. Kumbaga, matagal pa yan, guys, no? Months pa yung hihintayin natin. So, tignan natin kung masusunod nila itong roadmap nila, no? So yun niya, partner siya with CryptoZone and uh, Pancake Swap also by na. So ito yung community nila. So kung gusto niyo mag-join sa community, click niyo lang itong mga icons na to, no para makapag-join kayo sa community nila. Now, i-check natin yung kanilang white paper. Okay? So yan, click niyo lang yung docs para makita niyo dito. So upon reviewing this guys, no, nakita ko yung iba dito wala pang information. So like ito, ito wala pa. So baka anti pa lahat. So yan token metrics, of course, meron. In-game economy, wala pa. Deflation, wala pa. Roadmap, meron yan, for sure. Um, community, ito yung mga social media links nila. no And then yung FAQs. So, dito lahat. no So, uh, kung may mga tanong kayo, you can actually check it here. Now, play uh, fight junkie. So, wala dito yung information kung uh, ano ilang percentage ba. But then again, we get a glimpse of uh, what the gameplay is all about kasi nga yung gameplay nito syempre create ni CryptoZone. But ang sabi nila no sa kanilang uh, Telegram group, the ROI will be 15 to 20 days no for this game. 
So uh, I'm not sure kung magkano rin yung total na i-invest natin kasi wala pang naka-indicate dito. Okay? No, wala pang naka-indicate dyan. So yung uh, fight jacket nandito naman pala, yung information. Okay, so this is considered the main function of the Sagent game. So, ayan, no, makikita nyo yung mga kalaban natin sa Crypto Zone before. Okay, and kung mapapansin nyo dito, may advantage and disadvantages din yan. So, may mga final win rate pa sila, will be created combining terrain, mga ganyan. No, let's say uh, Plasma Sagent uh, versus Yaki Level 1. So, uh, win rate is 80%. Andito naman pala guys, no? Uh, the final win rate for encounters with... Uh, The fire terrain is 92%. If you come across water terrain, you will just have 68% uh, chance of winning. When you confronted a uh, rock or air terrain, final win rate is 80%. So, dito naka-indicate naman siya. Now, in terms of the reward. So, reward mechanism. After each combat, so, Sagent Spaceship will take 3 hours to return. So, every 3 hours, we follow natin dito. And uh, report the battle results. So, players will have to wait 3 hours for the outcome. of each combat and the quantity of CEG they got. Ayan. So, naka-indicate naman pala dito, guys, no? Kung, uh, kung kailan nyo makukuha yung reward nyo. So, after 3 hours, doon nyo lang makiklaim yung reward nyo. And then, after that, pwede na siguro kayo ulit na pumalo, no? Kasi ganun yung magiging gameplay niya. But anyway, guys, hindi naka-indicate dito kung ilan. No? Pero, uh, dito yung example, no? So, uh, so far, 68% yung pinakamababa. I'm not sure kung may mas mababa pa dyan, pero mataas yung win rate nila kung ganyan yung gagawin nila, di ba? So, uh, when Sagent's base obtains crucial items assistance, each Sagent will be able to be outfitted with more equipment, increasing the win rate and increasing the prices. So, coming soon pa to guys, ha? wala pa to. Now, uh, Gravity Chamber, of course, you have to level up your character. So, pwede nyo itong gamitin no, in order for you to level up. Now, Uh, the more enhancement stones, the higher the success rate of level up. So, pwede rin palang mag-fail no, kapag ka nagle-level up kayo sa gravity chamber. The enhancement stones will be lost when they have been uh, used to level up. So, yan. If Sagent completes the training and strengthening procedure successfully, it will advance one level. It, if it fails, it will remain at the current level. So, hindi naman siya makawala. So, okay lang yan. Lucky Rotation, players may take part of a Lucky Rotation for a chance to win fantastic prizes. Uh, the more consecutive spins you make, the more chances you have to win big. Pero wala pang indication dito kung anong meron sa Lucky Rotation. Then gift boxes, players will be able to open up 7 gift boxes per day. Uh, the first which will be for free and the seventh which will include several valuable gifts. I'm not sure then kung anong laman. ng uh, mga gift boxes. So, abangan na lang natin, guys, no? And then, uh, spaceship headquarters. So, wala pa naman na ito. Pero, somehow, you get a glimpse that it will be connected with the soon first, no? So, ano ba yung magiging opinion ko with this project? Alam naman natin kung anong nangyayari sa mga Crypto Earth Games, guys, di ba? And I think this is not an Oracle-based or some shit na NFT, no? Kasi with CryptoZoot, iba talaga yung mechanics na hindi naman siya naka-Oracle before. Pero so far, na nasustain na naman yung game. And uh, tignan na lang natin kung anong mangyayari in the future. But then again guys, dun pala sa mga magtoto and play, if you get like, let's say for example, times 3 or times 4 of your capital, better to pull it out, okay? Or uh, pwede ang gawin nyo, uh, take out the capital, then let the rest of the profits do the work para meron na rin kayong panglaro in the game, okay? So, hindi pa natin alam kung magkano yung magiging initial investment natin dito kasi hindi naman naka-indicate. So far, uh, gagawan ko na lang siya ng update kapag na-release na mismo yung uh, play to earn niya, which is gonna be this February 15. So, tignan na lang natin guys, okay? Yun lang mga tol. Maraming salamat ulit sa panonood and alam niyo na, peace out!